Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, as you guys probably know, if you follow me on this channel, I am the least qualified person ever to talk about this, but um, it's happening anyway. <laughs> and the reason being is because if you're anything like me, the question is out there. How do I improve the speed of my tin whistle playing? Now, I did say I was the least qualified person to talk about this, but Having said that, I have asked this question myself. I have received a lot of information that is genuine, that is valid, that did help me improve the speed of my playing. And um, I know how to improve the speed of my playing, but what I don't have is the two things I need. And the two things you need are the want to play faster tunes, which I don't have. I don't care for them. They don't do it for me. I don't wanna play them. And secondly, the time. We all know I don't have any time. Anyway, here are my top tips that I've been given by other experienced fast tin whistle players that I'm sharing with you guys to help you improve your whistle playing speed and hopefully get us all twiddling our fingers faster. <laughs> Tip number one, choose a whistle you're comfortable playing. Learning to play tunes quicker will be far easier if you can play the whistle that you're playing on. So choose a smaller whistle or a low whistle that you're comfortable with, you can move your fingers around quickly on, and that is your first port of call. A whistle you're comfortable playing. Tip number two, you need to learn the song off by heart. Unfortunately, this is the best, fastest, and easiest way to play a tune quickly. And that's because a lot of playing a fast tune is muscle memory. So when you ingrain and practice a tune to the extent that you don't need to read anything, you don't need to read any notes, it is all in your brain already, your fingers have already learnt what to do, your brain already knows what notes you need to play because you've learnt it off by heart. So if you can learn to play a tune without needing to reference any sheet music or reference any tabs or any scribbles or notes of any kind, if you can remember how to play it in your head, then you're well on the way to playing that as quickly as possible. As I said, your fingers will know where they're already going. They're used to playing in that way. They're used to jumping off two at a time or rolling up and down the whistle. So that is the main thing. Learn the tune you want to play off by heart so you don't have to read any music. Tip number three. What you really need to do is start slowly and play at a nice steady speed. Now the best way to do this is with a metronome. You can get a metronome app, which I'll link in the description for Android or one that you can find um, online somewhere. I think there's a website that I've used previously. Um, you can also buy an actual metronome, of course. But um, if you start at a steady speed or you play with a drum track online or you have a friend that drums, start slow and steady and then sort of speed it up a few notches and play again, but go slowly. So slowly increase the speed of your playing over the course of a few days, a few weeks, a few months, whatever it takes for that tune. And yeah, build up your speed on the same song gradually. And this is probably the way you're gonna need to do it with every single song that you play. Tip number four, keep your fingers close to the whistle. Now this is very important as a practical tip. If you move your fingers away from the whistle, the real the whistle, or the whistle, the whistle, I can never say whistle these days. If you move your fingers too far away from the whistle in an upward direction, um, they've got further to travel. So lifting your fingers off the whistle a long way means you're slowing down the speed at which you can cover the holes. So if you can keep your fingers flat and lift your fingers slowly off the whistle, slowly? No. If you can keep your fingers flatter and lift them less distance from the whistle, closer to the whistle, then uh, they don't have as much distance to travel and they'll be able to hit those notes a lot quicker. Tip number five. Another very practical tip is not to separate the notes with your tongue whilst you're playing the tune. Now, obviously some uh, tunes do call for a little bit of tonguing or a little bit of note separation, but generally on the faster tunes, which tend to be more traditional Irish music, um, tonguing isn't as much of a feature. So what you need to do is kind of learn to roll the notes together rather than separating them individually, as this takes up more time and also takes more time to um, sort of coordinate with your fingers. So if, for example, you're playing just up the scale and you're blowing into the whistle for every individual note like this, it's going to take you a lot longer than if you string all those notes together in one breath. The same applies if you're tonguing in between the notes. And tonguing, if you don't know, is 
uh, kind of where you touch the tongue to the top of your mouth, tongue twister, and cut off the air going into the whistle in a sort of a sound, sort of. And you'll see what I do there is my fingers kind of go quicker than my tongue can go, so um, the notes kind of sound disjointed and they don't flow nicely, and that is going to slow up your playing. So what you want to do is basically take one long breath, keep your tongue out of the way, and blow one breath and roll all your notes together. And that'll help you speed up as well. Tip number six. This is one of the most important tips, and that is to keep listening to the tune that you've learned in your head. Um, I mean by earphones or <laughs> playing it on a recording or whatever. If you have access to uh, a recording of the song that you're trying to play quickly, playing that over and over and over will cement that tune in your head. It'll help your head stay on top of the notes that you need to play. It will help you re-memorize how that tune goes, which will in turn coordinate your head with your fingers, and it is job done. One thing I did forget to mention is that when you're starting out trying to learn fast tunes, um, it is easier if you begin with tunes you already know, because this cuts out step six about it having to cement into your head. Um, if you already know the tune in your head, for example, I can play two tunes very quickly, and that is Good King Wenceslas, Good King Wenceslas, <laughs> Good King Wenceslas last the down on the Feast of Stephen. Christmas tunes, because I adore them, and I've sung them, and I've heard them, um, so that is one I can play really quickly. I can also play Scotland the Brave really quickly, and that is because I've been asked to play that on a few occasions, so I've practiced it a lot, I know the tune, I already knew the tune, and it's quite an easy one to begin with. So, um, yeah. If you start with a tune that you already know, a fast tune that you already know in your head and that you can find tabs or sheet music for, that is a really good place to begin on your faster playing journey, as you're already one step there. Unfortunately, what I've kind of come to the conclusion and what everyone comes to the conclusion is that there's no fast track to doing this. You can't do this overnight. There's no button you can flick or switch you can switch to make you be able to play quickly overnight. It is a long learning process and it is a process of building up your speed as you go along with individual tunes. And then, yeah, as you do that and you feel more confident playing tunes more quickly, your fingers will actually pick up and play things more quickly in future because you're used to playing in that way. So that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope these tips are helpful in helping you play faster, sooner, and enjoying your tin whistle playing. Um, until next week when I come back with some more amazing tunes. I do have a few lined up for you. I have I See You by Avatar, by Avatar, from Avatar, you know what I mean. I'm working on Sunset Land, which um, is a beautiful tune that someone played recently on one of the Facebook platforms, so yeah, I'm working on that. I'm also working on Dunmore Lassies, which is a great low whistle version I found, The Fool's Jig, and May Morning Dew. So lots coming up ahead. They are still in progress, um, but yeah, I'll see what I can do. So until next week, have a great weekend, happy whistling, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!